Hello and welcome once again to the Love Spoon Workshop. Now in this video we're looking at the different woods that we use and some of our preferences, some of the woods that we enjoy working with. If you're a beginner, the usual advice that you will come across online and when you speak to people in, in forums, in groups, that sort of thing, it will be to use basswood, what we refer to here in the UK as lime. Whilst lime is indeed easy carving and appropriate for most beginners, it's not going to suit everyone and it doesn't have the same character as some of the other woods. And indeed, here at our family workshop, we're working with wood all day, every day in our working lives and we actually have other timbers that we prefer to work in. This is both from a pure carving perspective, but also from the character and colours that you get in the grain. So let's just go through a few of our favourite woods for wood carving. The first one we're going to give on the list is beech. Now, this would be in some ways a bit of a bone of contention here at our workshop because Dad, he wouldn't be in favour of a beach as a beginner and he wouldn't have it as one of his own preferences for carving. But myself, it was the wood that I learned to carve with and it's the one that suited me best. Because I'm a little bit heavier handed, it just seemed to suit my carving style. So any list where I'm talking about woods for wood carving, beach has got to go on that list because it was how I learned to carve. Next on our list come fruit woods. So apple, cherry, pear and plum. These are all woods that we have access to. Of course, there are other nice woods to carve things like lemon and pomegranate, all sorts but we're going through the woods that we recommend, so we have to have access to them. So, these have interesting colours and character in the grain. They vary in how easy they are to carve. So for instance, a lot of the apple we have through is physically a little bit harder to work, but it gives you a nice finish and it works well under the pressure of the gouge. Following on from fruit woods, the next wood on our list are nut. So you come across all sorts of different types of nut. The main three that we have access to are chestnuts, walnuts, and hazelnuts. All three good for carving. My own preference when it comes to these would be the walnut. Our native walnut is a beautiful timber to carve. It works really nicely and it also finishes beautifully too. So it would be one of my favourite timbers for working in. We're often asked then how do we source the wood when it comes to things like walnut. We're mainly sourcing this from old furniture and old buildings, making our work more eco-friendly and sustainable. The next group that we're going to have in this list are woods that have interesting and unique colours and character in the grain. The three that we have access to are laburnum, yew and juniper. Juniper of course has a beautiful perfume but these three woods we like working with them because they have great character in the grain, they carve well although laburnum can be a little bit harder and more brittle and the finish is second to none. So that's the next on our list. Whilst they may be a little bit more difficult to carve than some of the others on our list, they certainly make up for this in the fact that they are beautiful timbers to work in. So that's wood with character, our laburnum, yew and juniper. The next addition to our list is a timber that grows widely in our local area and that's holly. Holly has a beautiful colour in the grain and a lovely character to the woods. Often it has a sort of pure whitish 
colour to it, going into different shades of grey. It carves nicely, carves quite purely. It can be a little bit harder to carve than some of the other woods, but it is one of our favourites to work in. Next on our list is one of my own personal favourites and the one that I probably do most of my carving in, and that's the Mighty Oak. Now oak has got a reputation for being hard, hard to work in physically, but it's not necessarily the case. We source a lot of our oak from old furniture, and this is often beautifully seasoned, but also fantastic to work in. Oak then, it's also a popular choice. Seems to be at this moment in time very much in fashion because it has that lovely mid-tone and an interesting character in the grain, having that lovely medullary ray, that little fleck, and also what we refer to as silver fish, giving it plenty of character and interest. So one of our favorite timbers for working in and one of the most popular choices is oak. The second most popular choice of wood that we have when making things here at our workshop is mahogany. Again, when it comes to the sourcing of the wood, all of our mahogany is recycled and reclaimed. So we can get it from old furniture, we've had it from things like doors and door frames, all sorts of different fittings, benches, however we can get hold of it. Now it is important to note a little disclaimer when it comes to talking about carving mahogany. There are thousands of different timbers that can be defined as part of the mahogany family. And as such, there's a huge variety between the best carving mahoganies and the worst carving mahoganies. So that's our next one on our list. Mahoganies, beautiful colors, beautiful character in the grain and fantastic to work with, but be careful because there's a huge difference between the best quality mahoganies for carving and the cheaper, not so good varieties when it comes to working with. Next on our list are woods that we miss working with and we fear that we're gonna miss working with. And these two are Dutch Elm and ash. Now unfortunately here in Wales we currently have a problem effect in the ash trees called ash dieback and this means that the ash trees they're actually dying and sadly this could result in the future in us not having access to this lovely timber. It's a little bit harder than some of the others on the list and you can have a little bit of a challenging aspect to working with it because you have that difference between the spring and summer growth. But all in all, it's a good solid all-round timber with decent character and interest in the grain. But we do fear that in the future we might not have access to it. This has already happened then when it comes to the Dutch Elm. We had Dutch Elm disease resulting in the trees being cut down and not being able to source Dutch Elm, a timber that we used to enjoy making all sorts of different gift items in. The final wood on our list of timbers that we work with is one of our own family favorites. It's what we carved our first love spoon for our family collection from, and it remains a firm favorite here at our family workshop. And that is teak. Now again, they have the saying where they say, as tough as teak. But when it comes to carving, it carves really nicely. Because the wood is full of teak oil, the gouge glides through it and it finishes nicely too because you have that oily dust. And so it's a fantastic timber for us to use. Has interesting character in the grain and it finishes well too. So all in all, it's a really well-rounded timber to use. When it comes to sourcing teak, again, we're reclaiming and recycling this. So we get it from old furniture, things like wardrobes, chest of drawers, however we can get hold of it. 
We're fortunate locally that we're close to Pembroke Dock. That was a royal dock. And so they were bringing in teak into the area. But of course, in the future, it's likely to become more difficult for us to source teak because it's not being brought into the country in the way that it used to be. So there you go, that is our list. Some of our favorite timbers for wood carving. The idea of this video is to just try and broaden the conversation a little bit further than just basswood, what we refer to as flowering lime, and to explore all of the other possibilities. There are so many different woods that you can have a go at working with. Let us know in the comments section, what's your favorite wood for working in? And what wood would you like to have a go at carving yourself? If you're new here and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we upload another video. If you like the video, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. It helps us so we can make more videos for you to enjoy. And as always, thank you again for watching.